This week's item is from Kemet. Lady Ada, what is your pick from DigiKey this week for I on MPI? I'm glad you asked. We got this. This is um, a series of sensors from Kemet. They are the TRS uh, series of thermostat sensors. And what's neat is I actually learned a lot writing this I on MPI because I didn't, I, I misunderstood how they worked. I'm going to explain to you how uh, these sensors work. So these are sensors that basically... They're in like every appliance you know, and essentially they're a, a switch that when you hit a certain temperature, they either open or close. So let's say um, you have a heater blanket or something. Um, obviously you don't want to get it so hot that it could burn you. Uh, so there's a, th there's a thermostat, um, but maybe there's also a safety interlock. You know, if the, the heater blanket gets too hot, the connection opens, uh, your heater blanket no longer gets electronics, uh, electricity through it, and it turns off. Um, you know, likewise, you could have an alarm in your freezer. The temperature goes below or above a certain point. It you know, get, either gets too cold or too hot. Um, an alarm goes off and you're notified. And that could be done with this very simple switch. No firmware coding required. Um, so there's the, the thermal read switch uh, series. So it comes in a couple different packages and we'll show you this. And um, there's multiple different ranges. So each one has a set point. Uh, that either make or break below or above that point. So um, the make ones, you know, when they uh, go above the temperature, they make the connection. The break ones, when they go above the temperature, they break them, whichever it make above, make uh, above, break, break. Uh, and they come in different sizes and shapes with wires or not, or you can solder them onto things. I got a couple that were um, solderable. And this is interesting. So, you know, I was actually, I thought that these kind of worked like PTC fuses, which we had talked about a few, you know, weeks or months ago, we covered a couple of PTC fuses where the material, as it gets hotter, um, the resistance changes, but actually these um, use the uh, Curie point, um, like the scientific, the theory of the, the Curie point, which I remember from like high school and college. So it, this is a really neat thing. Basically, if you have some magnetic materials um, and you know, you have all the spins going in one direction and that's what makes, you know, there be a north and a south pole to um, the material. But then, you know, sometimes, it, you know, sometimes if you hit a material, it'll scatter um, the, the crystal or if you get it above a certain temperature. And what's interesting is it resets. Like if it, you, you heat it up to a certain temperature and then the crystal kind of breaks apart, you no longer have this magnetic property. It doesn't act like a magnet. And then when you go back down, it reforms into the crystalline shape and the, mag um, the magnetic uh, property reappears. Um, so what these sensors do is um, they have a special material um, that the ther therm thermorite, which is tuned by Kemet to um, have that effect, the Curie point at like 15 degrees C um, interval. So it's like 40, 55, 65, 75, whatever. Uh, and you can see in the graph, they have you know, the different points and it's like a really hard stop. Like when it hits that point, it really does like turn from a magnet to a non-magnetic property almost instantly. Um, so inside all of these sensors is basically a read switch, which a lot of folks here have probably used before. Um, this is a generic read switch that DigiKey stocks and the read switch has two metal plates. And usually, uh, and there's, they're in a glass case or you know some other case that's totally got in, inert gases. There's nothing inside. There's no oxidation that you have to worry about. And when a magnet comes close, um, the magnet causes the two pieces of metal to touch to make the connection or separate uh, to release the connection. And so we've used these for like door and window sensors. You know, when when the magnet comes close, it closes the connection, an alarm goes off, or vice versa. Um, but with a little bit of clever hacking, you can turn these into temperature sensors. Um, so this is basically how like a reed switch works normally in the top right there. You've got a, you know, a, a, a magnet and it comes close um, and the two pieces of metal uh, touch each other and there's a, a magnetic field. Um, on the left side, I mean, this is a diagram is from the data sheet. This is good, but I actually like, um, let's get, we'll skip ahead because I'll show the very nice diagrams. So there's two types. And basically they do like a thing where the outer ring is that thermorite, that material which you get is a magnet until 
um, the the temperature rises a certain point and then it becomes demagnetized. Um, and um, for the break type, the, the thermorite's in the middle and there's permanent magnet on the outside. And on the make type, the thermorite's in the center and then there's a little bit of a spacer. And I'll, I'll, you, we'll, I'll show you the video also because it's kind of interesting um, the, how this hack. But in the center is a normal read switch. Okay, so for the break type, I thought this was... I mean, they're both, they're both kind of simple to, well, not simple, but they're easy to understand. So there's the read switch on the inside. And see, there's on the center, there's the pink thing, which is, which is a cutaway of the ring. And at the low temperature, the middle part is magnetic. And so the two permanent magnets on each side, there's a continuous field that's not broken. And so it, it's, the read switch is closed. And then when it gets very hot, um, that center part again becomes amagnetic. The pink part it basically acts like a uh, open connection and there's no transference of the magnetic field through the material anymore. Um, the magnets are no longer right next to, the magnetic field is no longer right next to the, the two reed switch leaves and they open up and now the switch is off and then when the temperature go back, goes back down, it remagnetizes the field, flows again and vice versa. So like no power is required, no sensing, no code. It just magically happens at the Curie point. Um, Likewise, the make type uh, is sort of similar, except there's, you know, there's two thermorite rings in the middle and the magnet, and basically the same thing where it's like, you want to create or remove the magnetic field, which would connect or disconnect um, the reed, whichever, whichever way you want. I mean, usually people have a break switch because you have a toaster oven, it gets too hot, you want the, electronic, the electricity to disconnect. And these come in multiple different shapes. There's also the OHD family, which is like sealed and comes in like this epoxied enclosure. And that's uh, for UL, CSA, or TUV rating. Um, there is UL rating for, looks like one of the lead terminal ones, but these, you know, you can use these for anything. And again, they're very simple. They just kind of work. Um, physics seems to have not let us down yet uh, so far. And so you can rely, you know, you can rely on this knowing that there's not going to be any like funky weird you know watchdog timer that has to go off or like oh what if you know the the ptc thermistor isn't like you know it, it has some leakage current like if this opens a read switch it's open it's open like it's there's no electricity passing through um there's just some things that you know they they show what they're they're used for um you know refrigerators and rice cookers and uh, water and whatever, uh, you know, there's, there's basically two use cases I think of that are really good. One is as your main control, like, I mean, these, these could work as a great sensor input into a more advanced mic controller. Um, you know, you definitely, you don't have to, you could just have a switch and it would, uh, activate an interrupt or, or what have you. You just, you just know whether it's above or below the temperature, but it's also great as an interlock. You know, you have, a, a comp more complicated feedback system, but then like, if that feedback system fails for some reason, you have something like that protector element. It's like, no matter what, it will never get above this temperature because if it did, uh, the, electric the electrical connection would open. And if you're not sure which one you want, there's also a kit that uh, DigiKey put together with Kemet that has like kind of one of each make and break and various temperature uh, uh, trip points, the Curie points. Uh, so you can pick up this kit if you just like want one of each, if you don't know whether you want make or break type or what the temperature rating is. Um, and these are the parts that are in that kit. So you get like, you know, from 50 degrees up to 120 degrees, half make, half break, all of them can pass um, 100 volt AC and uh, looks like about 0.3 amps. Um, so good for a signal or even uh, low power. Available DigiKey. And because we're showing this, it means it's in stock. It is in stock. Um, I got a couple of them, but there's um, there's like every rating is available. Yeah. You know, it's like, I actually really like stuff like this because I feel like, you know, I spend so much of my time in like firmware and like firmware is great, but like I would never trust it <laughs> with my life um, or with my safety. Whereas I would trust something like this. It's like, it's the Curie point, it's physics, like it's reliable. I, I believe in physics. Yeah. All right. And uh, we have a little bit of a video that has some of uh, information about this. They have a very nice, it's much longer, but we have a little snippet. Yeah. 
let's shift our focus to the operation principle of the thermo sensor. Simply put, it is a thermal switch that opens and closes the contacts within its built-in reed switch by the shift in magnetic energy of thermorite and permanent magnet. Here, a ring-shaped thermorite is in the sensor, sandwiched by two ring-shaped permanent magnets with polarity arrangement as shown, with the reed switch fixed inside the rings. When the temperature of the thermorite is at or below its Curie temperature, it functions as a magnetic body. In contrast, when the temperature exceeds the Curie temperature, it becomes a non-magnetic body. This change in the characteristics shifts the magnetic circuit, which makes or breaks the contact in the reed switch. The thermal sensor has two types of switching action, brake type and make type. The brake type's mode is normally on that is turned off at the operating temperature, as opposed to make type, which has a mode that shifts from off to on.